Hi again. I have a story time for you. I was bullied during childhood and right into adolescence. See, I have very severe learning disabilities and when I was in fourth grade, for example, I stood up and asked the teacher how to spell ah. That's right, ah. I really wanted to get it right on my paper because I was always failing. And the kids beat me up after school and the teachers turned away and didn't notice or pretended not to notice. My sister bullied me too and she had her friends bully me. Kids would beat me up, they would tease me, they would push me around, they would make fun of me, they would harass me, they would call me names. It went on and on. And my sister would do the same thing and get her friends to do the same thing. I never had anyone to play with. I was all alone. And then I failed grade five and I was put into a five-six split and I was the biggest kid in the class, which did not help. And I was going through puberty, which did not help. And then for grade seven and eight, I was in a special class with seven other students. And we repeated the spelling of words all day long. And everybody knew I was in special class. So they bullied me even harder, as if it could get harder already. And they harassed me and beat me up. And again, the teachers pretended not to notice. And my mother told me I just had to stand tough against it. I think she spoke to the school, but I'm not sure. My mother was one of my abusers, so it's hard to know. And then finally in grade nine, I got sent to residential school and I got sent away to the United States. And um, even though residential school doesn't sound good, it was better than what I'd had before. The government paid a large portion of it and I finally met people like me and it was such a relief because I was really bullied badly. Luckily, there was no internet then. I feel for these kids today with the internet to bully them. It's just the worst. But I, um, I took it bad. They were always getting me teasing me and pulling on me and beating me up and I went to summer camp one year. I really wanted to go to overnight camp because my sister went to overnight camp and my mother thought it was a really bad idea but I really wanted to so she sent me and I came home the next day all beaten and bruised. They had t attacked me like wolves. It was awful. I didn't have the social skills to know how to handle these things. It's part of learning disabilities is social skills. And I just didn't have them.
and it was awful. I hate thinking back to those years. All the abuse, all the bullying. It was just awful. If I knew then what I know now, I would have taken myself on a completely different path. I would have demanded to be homeschooled and I would have put my foot down like a kid can only do to be homeschooled. But I don't think my mom would have done it because it would have cut into her time. But I would have tried. I really would have tried. Anyways, that's my story about bullying. We should all be against bullying. We should all support people who are being bullied and help them out because you can be bullied at any age. And remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscription button. We have a lot of great content on this site. And um, I love y'all.